look at her little stand. It's bright yellow with coconuts. Has a little sign that says roasted yam and it's right on the side of the road. So cars are just flying through. This is crab soup too? No, cold skin and oh. chicken food. Okay. Mixed together. The famous Portland jerk chicken? Yeah, for sure. All right. Everywhere you go, you get it. I did order myself a red stripe. These were five US dollars. I also got myself a little Jamaican joint, you know, that's exactly how you do it here on the beach. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day here in Kingston, Jamaica. Now today we're gonna be kicking off a Jamaican street food tour here in the country's capital before making our way around the island to get our hands on street food in many other regions. Now the Jamaican food is by far one of my favorite things about being here in the country and I'm excited to share with you guys what you can find here on the streets. Kingston is an incredibly busy city. It has so much to offer and you can literally find food on every corner. I'm excited to take you guys along for this journey. I hope you guys are as well. We're gonna be trying so many traditional dishes, but also snacks that you've probably seen before. It's extremely hot, extremely humid today, so let's just jump right into it because I'm actually quite hungry as well. So we're about to jump into the car and head out of New Kingston, which is where we are right now, and make our way over towards a place known as Heroes Circle. One thing you're gonna notice about Kingston is that this city is just like any other big city in the world. The traffic sucks, guys. Like, it doesn't matter where you wanna go, what time of day you wanna go, this is what you're sitting in. Just a traffic jam. And it's kind of frustrating, but it's also quite cool because look the other way. There's cool art everywhere. So as you're just driving around the city, you can see beautiful murals, all kinds of Jamaican colors. No, it's cool. It's a vibrant place. It's active. You know, you'll be stuck at a red light chilling and out of nowhere somebody comes up and splashes water on your water bottle and starts cleaning your window. So we're gonna be kicking off this Jamaican street food tour the best way we know how at the Crab Circle here in Kingston. Now, this is one of those locals only spots. There's not really tourists that show up here. The locals love to come here and snack on some crab. But amongst the crab, there's other things that you can find here as well, such as crab soup and also fried corn. I'm noticing that corn is extremely popular here in Jamaica and especially with seafood. Now, the Crab Circle is actually right next to National Hero Park, one of the most like centric locations in the city. So it is definitely one of those places you have to stop by and I must say, the ladies working these crab stands are super nice, super welcoming, and you're gonna feel right at home. And let me just tell you, it smells so damn good out here. So these here are all of the crabs. You got the corn over there. Right here, she just showed us that she has some soup. And then over here, some more corn. And this is the stand. Look how beautiful, vibrant, all Jamaican colors. No, such a good vibe. Now we have $12, we have 12 bills. Yeah, let's... The big guy is... Which one's a popular one? <laughs> They're all popular. Maybe you want, I don't know if you want the bigger ones. Uh, yeah, that one. What like, you would choose? The bigger ones. Eh. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you get to taste it, huh? Well, like this? I don't know how to right. open. Black shrimp. Black oil that you chew. Ah. Okay, yeah, that one's fine. Yeah. <laughs> that one's cool. Let us get two of those. Right. Nice soup. This is crab soup too? No, cold skin and oh. chicken food. Okay. Mix together. These are the chicken legs. And a little dumpling. Okay. And a little piece of cow skin. Oh, wow. And a little soup. And how many years have you been making this soup? 17. 17. Wow. Okay, so we came to the right spot. And voila, this is what our plate looks like. This looks and smells incredible. So we actually got two crabs. She gave us one female and one male. And she actually explained to us that, um, well, this one's the male here because you can actually see the splot down the middle, right? Broad. And it's broad in the middle, right? Okay. And then the female um, has more, uh, a couple more lines. Yeah, and it's slim, right? Like a V-shape. 
And of course, we got a steamed corn and boiled corn. Boiled corn. Boiled corn. And we have a nice soup. Now let's go ahead and try this. This here is a chicken foot soup. Yo, this is so good. I don't even know what really to explain. There's carrot in here, pumpkin, a little bit of like dumpling. Oh, that's the pumpkin inside. That's what gives it the orange color. Wow, no, this is so good. Reminds me almost of a, of a lentil soup, if I must be honest. Yo, that's bomb. That's so good. All right, now right here we have the corn. Now, corn is one of my favorites as well, especially when you bite into it and you get it all up in your teeth and you have to walk around the whole day like that. That's exactly what we're about to do, so let's just jump into it. Mm. Okay. This is bomb, and let me just tell you something. A lot of people are actually not sitting here and eating. So many people are just driving up and she's serving them right in their car window and they're driving off. So this is definitely one of those drive through spots. Oh wow, this corn's so good. Mm. Okay. Now, we're gonna move on over to the crab, but I really don't know where to start. How do you start this? You take the legs first? Take off the legs first. Okay, like this. Mm. Okay, wow, there's a lot of meat in those legs. Very, very good. It's hard to explain. It's definitely um, really, really salty. Oh, wow. I've never seen something like that before. Now let's go ahead and pull this other one off. Now she said these here are called mud crabs. They're mud crabs. Wow, look at that, guys. All right, let's taste this claw. It's bomb. Now, I don't know why they don't give you any tools. I guess the locals just go savage with it like that. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tear this up. Oh, how do you actually get in there? Who knows? Who knows? You know what? I don't like my food that I gotta work for, guys. It's delicious. Definitely takes some work though. You know what? I'm gonna continue and crush my plate and then we'll see each other at another food stall here in the city. Now our next stop in today's street food tour is right here in the Central Plaza of Kingston. And we actually came up here because we got invited over here by Bulby Soups. Now Bulby Soups is actually, well, he's a soup maker who makes some of the best soups in Kingston. He called himself the mayor of soups. So of course we had to stop by and he said to come right at 12 because it sells out extremely fast. And let me just tell you guys, it's 12.15 right now and he has very little soup left in the pot it's going extremely fast there's people coming from every direction to grab themselves a bowl of soup and the best part about his soups is that every day he has a different soup in the pot today it's pigtail sometimes he has crawfish others he has some sweet corn a little bit of everything so right here we got the cup of our magical soup now this one here is actually made out of pork and the funny thing is he actually knows Spanish. He was telling me that he actually learned Spanish in Costa Rica. So he was like, sopa de chuleta. Super cool. Now this soup, man, it looks super hearty. We got some pork, potato. What is this? Some dumpling in there. Some beans. Oh, man. And he says that this is made fresh daily, every morning, bright and early. Let's dive on into it. And guys, he's running out soon. The people keep coming. And I have a feeling that they're not going to stop coming until he has none left. Let's dive on in. Wow. Okay, so this is like pork and beans. It is delicious. It's incredible. Let's try the potato. Mmm. No. This is bomb. We definitely stopped by the right place. And there's nothing more I like seeing than a setup like this. A car with a giant pot and a stove in the back. I know exactly why they call him the master of soups now. This is incredible. And he didn't just give himself that name. 
The reason why he got that name is because he's been published all over different newspapers, television shows, and has even made radio appearances to talk about his soups. Super cool. He reached out to me yesterday, and of course I had to stop on by because I love supporting the local people, especially someone like him that's out here grinding and looking for opportunities. So I'm gonna enjoy my soup, and then we're gonna continue on with this food tour. So for our next bit of street food, we're actually halfway between Montego Bay and the grill and we pulled over on the side of the road because as you're driving through Jamaica, you see so many different stands selling everything from cocoa to fresh aki. But one thing that's super popular on the roads here in Jamaica is roasted yam or also pudding. Corn pudding, potato pudding, they make puddings of all kinds. Now, we pulled over to try the roasted yam, but unfortunately there is no roast yam here at this hut right behind us. We'll see if we find some later on down the way, but for now, we are going to try this cornmeal pudding that looks absolutely incredible. And let me just tell you guys something. It smells amazing, so good. And I also picked myself up a slice of this potato pudding that looks incredible as well. It almost has like a bread pudding texture to it, I'm really, really excited. Now these two slices of pudding were actually only 500 Jamaican dollars, something like four USD. But I ended up giving her the double for a nice tip because she was super kind, super nice. And look at her little stand. It's bright yellow with coconuts, has a little sign that says roasted yam and it's right on the side of the road. So cars are just flying through. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive on in to this beautiful, beautiful Jamaican treat. Now, there's an emergency. All right, we're good. Um, I was told that you can either eat this as a full-on meal or as a snack, depending on your liking. So, let's dive on in. Okay. So, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the texture. It's really, really mushy, but the taste is 100% there. Super sweet, but also has a nice bitter touch to it because it is a potato. However, the coating that's on top, I'm not sure what it's made out of, but that's what gives it the sweet touch to it. Tastes almost like a, like if it had some sort of apricot in there. This must be a mix of like a fruit marmalade that's on top. But no, seriously, I, I approve. I kind of like it. It's a, it's a funky taste, a funky feel when you bite on into it. Yeah, it's weird, but I like it. I definitely approve of this. Now it's time for us to try the cornmeal. She said this was actually the favorite here of the stand and she only had about two slices left of this. So let's go ahead and try it. Now, for all my Latinos out there, this looks like a piece of flan, if you ask me. All right, let's dive on in. Oof, let's not get all sticky yet. Okay, so this one here has a complete different consistency to it. You can definitely taste the corn. Tastes almost like a cornbread, but a little bit more moist and sticky. I like it. All right, guys. Well, it's time for us to hit the road and see what else we find around Jamaica. All right, guys, so we just made it here to Negril. Man, the vibes are right, okay? You know, I've been in Jamaica for about two weeks now. We've been to a lot of beaches. We've seen a lot of places. None are this relaxed, this chill, good people. So to access the beach, Bloody Bay Beach, this one here is actually completely, well, not completely, but this section is public. There is no prices to come out onto the water and enjoy the beach. However, as you can tell behind me, it is completely surrounded by resorts. So if you enter from any other area minus this little section right before hitting the RIU hotel, you won't be able to actually access the beach. Now right now, I did order myself a red stripe. These were five US dollars. I also got myself a little Jamaican joint, you know? That's exactly how you do it here on the beach. And we got ourselves a beach chair, guys, for five US dollars. Seriously. This place is such a vibe. Everything looks so relaxing. If we turn around, actually, 
They even have like some souvenir shopping over in that direction. They have like some massage tables. Looks like you can also go out on a boat ride if you want to. And one of the best parts about this place and one of the reasons why I came here is because, I don't know if you guys can see that little metal crate in the water right there. Here in this region of Jamaica, it is famously known for, well, cliff diving, but also for the lobster. So while we're here, we're also gonna enjoy ourselves a nice lobster. I'll show you guys a little bit of that process here in this video, but I'm making a special video fully dedicated to the lobster adventure for you guys. What a place, time to enjoy. So this here is the specialty lobster that's only found in the grill and it's actually picked fresh right here in the ocean every single morning. They throw it in a cage, you come, you choose your lobster. It all goes by price starting at 25 all the way up to 150. This here is a $40 lobster and they prepare it right in front of you with rice, beans and of course some toast. And what I love about it is that it's all made entirely on top of a wooden flame. Look at how incredible this looks. It's time for us to dive on in. Wow, I love all of the vegetables and the sauce that they put on top. Oof, look how juicy this looks. Okay. I definitely see what everybody's talking about. It's like a chimichurri on top. The lobster is incredibly fresh, so good. It's has a lot of butter and garlic, which I love in a lobster. Wow, this is incredible. And as I mentioned, this whole plate was $40 and we're right on the beach with amazing vibes, live music. It's just great. I don't even know how to explain it. I wouldn't want to eat a lobster like this anywhere else. Now let's try the rice. No, surprisingly, everything on this plate is super good. All right. I'm gonna kill this lobster and I'll see you guys somewhere else on this beautiful island of Jamaica to continue on with our Jamaican street food tour. Hey, how's it going, bro? How much is the chicken? We get it for $800 with festival or plant chicken. Okay. Can I get a, a piece of breast? Yeah, no problem, bro. All right, so we just parked the car here in Port Antonio and the first thing we noticed as soon as we made it out was the smell of chicken. So we stopped here. Now everybody told me that when I came over to this part of the island, I had to try the church chicken. It was the best in Jamaica, so that's what we're doing. I think you're right. This is the, the famous Portland jerk chicken? Yeah, for sure. All right. Everywhere you go, you get it. Anywhere we can go, we can find it. Well, right at this spot. That's the best you find in town. Okay. How long you been making the jerk chicken for? Decades. Wow, cool. I like your stand too. And you got the view right by the ocean. Right by Four Shore Road. Oh, and we get some plantain too? Yeah. Cool. Actually, that might be the most proper piece of chicken we've had this trip. Oh, for sure. We've had a lot of chicken too. How, how much are you? Everything come to $900. 900 there you go. Thank you, bro. Welcome. And this side, are over. Um, we can do it over. Why not? It's ketchup. I love me some ketchup. There we go. Thank you. So right now, I'm definitely loving the Port Antonio vibes. It's definitely one of those like small coastal towns, but the energy is real. It almost feels like a big city when you're driving around this town, right? For sure. Traffic, people selling everything, it's great. Oh, we got a little salad. Oh man. If you guys come here to Port Antonio, you know where you gotta stop. Right in front of the Texaco. On the other side of the road. On the other side. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Wait for your car, your paper towel. Oh, paper towel. Can we can help this? Oh man, this plate looks stacked, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. All right, so 
we're gonna go ahead and try this piece of jerk chicken. Now, I've only had jerk chicken at two locations. I had it at Kingston Jerk and at Ocho Rios Jerk, and honestly, those two places, I didn't really find it, um, I don't know, anything too, too special. It tasted like uh, rotisserie chicken. Here we go. Mm. All right, yo. This might be the most proper jer jerk chicken we've had this trip. This is extremely spicy, but so rich in flavor. Ooh. The chicken is awesome. Incredibly juicy, and like most other places in Jamaica. Mm. No meal. No meal is complete without a fried green plantain. Mm. Okay. This, this meal right here in Port Antonio, right in front of the Texaco and the, and the ocean, is my favorite meal I've had in Jamaica so far. Wow. It's true what they say. The best food you eat is found on the streets with the locals. And now we're back in Kingston, Jamaica. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know what was your favorite part? What street food dish did you find the most appealing? I think my favorites were definitely the soup in Central Plaza and also the lobster. Of course, the lobster over in the grill was incredible. And I've never had it so fresh. You guys seen that? I mean, dude literally stuck the knife in the back of the lobster's head while it was still alive. Pretty brutal and cooked it right in front of us as we lounged, drinking red stripes and enjoying coconuts on the beach. No, seriously, this whole trip in Jamaica has been a dream. I'm super glad that I was able to share some of the beauty that this country has to offer. The reason why I said some is because there's still so much we need to see. There's still so much left to explore. Just in Kingston alone, I could come back and easily spend a few weeks and not run out of things to do. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comments what was your favorite part and I'll see you guys again soon for another adventure. Later guys. You were always smarter.